resurrection is for us to live as citizens of heaven. Heaven invaded this place a little while ago. And God wants to release heaven on earth. In 1 Peter 1.3, it says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. According to his great mercy, he has caused us to be born again. You've heard that word. He's caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. That's how we're born again. It's because his glorious resurrection. Amen, church? But this word, born again, so many people really don't understand what it's about. This word, born again, means born from above. John 3.3, 3, Jesus answered him, very truly I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God without being born from above. In our mind, and this was in my mind, that being born again was walking down an aisle and, and asking Jesus to come into my heart. How many of you have done that? Pretty much everyone in here. But I truly didn't understand what being born from above was. It's beginning to see the unseen. It's beginning to hear the voice of God. It's beginning to understand in that spiritual unseen world, world the reality. So you have to be born from above in order to understand these truths. He wants us to enter in. And the only way we can enter into this place is to be quickened by Holy Spirit. Quickened means made alive. He wants us to be made alive in Christ. It's reconnecting to our original identity with God. Did you know that you existed in the heart of God even before creation? And then you materialized into this dimension and you were always on his heart. So he wants you to reconnect with that original identity that he created about you. And how do we do that? It's through that resurrected life of Christ. Because we're saved by his life. Romans 5.10 says. But so many people in churches nowadays don't understand. Listen to this in Romans 6.4. Therefore we are buried with him. Say I'm buried with him. By baptism. Into death. That is Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father. Even so we also should walk in the newness of of life. See, there's a newness of life. If you're still walking in the old life, something's wrong. Because when you're born from above, you have a new walk. You have a new talk. You have a new outlook on life. Because now that you can see in the spiritual realm and you can understand heaven on earth. So what does this new life look like? It looks like from above. It looks like heaven. Heaven on earth. I want to ask you this question. Or, or have you walked in this newness of life? If you haven't, today is the day that you enter in. There's so much more God has for us. It's not about just coming to a building and singing a few songs and hearing a talk. It's about really seeing the reality of heaven now. See, heaven is another dimension. It's where space and time overlap. An example of this was the Mount of Transfiguration. Do you remember when Jesus walked with the disciples? He walked up onto this mountain. And then immediately Moses and Elijah showed up. Well, Moses had already died. Elijah was taken up in a chariot. 
what was happening right there was heaven was opening on earth. And these disciples were beginning to see, oh, my word, what's going on there? They were mesmerized by this. See, Jesus didn't have to take them to this far away galaxy into heaven. He brought heaven on earth. And those disciples encountered this miraculous transfiguration.